So I was at a show with the Beaconsfield Quilters Guild this weekend and it reminded me of a design that I made quite a few years ago and it was for this little pen with a little girl made out of wire. So to make the little pin, we're going to need 20 gauge wire and some thinner 24 gauge wire for the hair. A transparent ribbon, it's a couple inches wide by 12 inches long. You're going to need a little pin to put on the back and then your tools. So what we're going to do to get started is you're going to take your wire and we want to cut a piece that's going to be for the head and the legs. So we're going to cut it probably about a foot long. The size can vary depending on how you want it to look. And with a round form, you're just going to make sort of like a little round type edge like that. And then we're going to just bend these ends down. And those are going to be the legs. And then for the arms, we're going to cut another piece. And then what we want to do is actually twist it around the neck. So we're going to just twist it around a couple of times like that. Okay, you can even do it like three times and then bring it down at the back and I would twist it around again. So those are going to be the arms. Okay. And at this point you could kind of figure out how long you want them to be and then trim them a little longer than what you want them to be. And just with your round pliers, you're just going to bend them up. And it doesn't have to be perfect. You're just going to bend the ends and that's going to form the feet. And then the same thing for the arms, however long you want the arms. You want them more or less the same size, so you could kind of bend it down like that. And then you can just bend these up like that. So there you have your little figure. And now what you want to do is add the dress. So we have a piece of ribbon and we're going to, first you want to wrap it around the shoulders. So we're going to bend it like this to the back. And then we're going to bend it around the whole body and then back over the shoulder. And this is, you know, it doesn't have to be really perfect. So you're just going to kind of wind it around how you see fit. And then we're just going to bend it around a few times, the body. And if your ribbon is too long, you can go ahead and, uh, and trim it. So if you see it's, it's too long, just go ahead and trim it. You want to finish this off at the back. And then we want to get a wire and just tie it around the middle. So we're just going to make sure this is bunched at the back take the thinner wire and you just want to very snugly tie this around because instead of gluing it we actually just want to use the wire 
like that. Pull it tightly. And at this point, if you want, you can put a little bead in there. So I have a little flower bead. So I'm just going to stick the little flower bead on the wire. So it's got a little, a little bead there. Twist it around a couple more times. And then we're just going to trim it. Like that. So there's the little girl with her dress. And now we want to put some hair. So we're going to use the thinner wire. Cut a piece. And we're just going to wind it in here. So we're going to put the wire in there. So I would center it around the top. And just string it inside the head. So go through a couple of times like that. And then you actually want to make a kind of a loop thing. So we're just going to loop it like that. Make a loop. And then twist it a couple of times. One, two. And then string it inside again. Make another loop. Twist it again. And these loops don't have to be the same size. Twist it about three times so it'll stay in place. And you're going to keep going around and do your loops all the way around like that. So here you have your little Finnish girl with all her hair twisted around and her dress. And if you would like after, you can actually stitch on a little pin form like that. And I'm actually going to leave it free like that and I'm going to attach these little wires to a greeting card. Thanks so much for watching the video. Give it a big thumbs up if you like it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots more DIY videos. And if you made a little pin, I would love to see a photo. You can share them on Instagram and at sign or hashtag me at Heather Boyd Wire. And I also have a PO box that you could send photos if you would like uh, to our mailbox.